Waking up in the morning has never been easy for me. The only thing that gets me out of bed has been the sound of my stomach grumbling for food. What can I possibly eat for breakfast? I decide to go with the classic toast. First thing I need to make toast is the toaster itself. So I grab my keys off the hook and hop into my 2010 Space Gray Honda Accord and floor it up the street. The best place to buy a toaster would be Ikea. This, makes, this takes me on the long journey to Paramus, New Jersey. On the way, I pass four cops on the side of the road, eight pieces of roadkill, and two accidents. But after an hour and a half, I make it to the big blue and yellow store. Two lamps, one mirror, and a new desk later, a worker finally points me to the toasters. Which one to pick is the real question. The right toaster makes the best toast. After searching through 17 different kinds of toasters, I find one to fit my level of toast. The Breville BTA 840XL Diecast 4 Slice Smart Toaster. Time to check out and head home. The car is now unloaded and it's time to prepare my meal. Now, more hungry than ever, I head to my pantry to take out some nice sourdough bread, only to find out my dad has eaten the last of it. So once again, I hop into my car, floor it up the street, and head 20 minutes to BJ's Wholesale Club. I get to the large cream-colored building, park my car, and walk to the back of the store. So many different options of bread. 14 different brands, all dedicated to only making sourdough. How could I possibly choose? I head to the internet browser on my iPhone and search for my cause. I give up. Nothing seems right. So I go to the bakery a few aisles over and ask for a fresh loaf. It will have to do. I pay three forty-seven and head on my way home. Loading the bread into the toaster, I check to see if I have any butter for my spread. I open the refrigerator door, only to find out that my mother had used the rest of my butter on her biscuits earlier in the morning. So once again, I head to my little car, floor it up the street, and head to Stop and Shop. The first aisle holds the spreadable butter. I grab whichever one looks good because at this point I'm so hungry it doesn't matter. I rush home once again, plug in my toaster, throw the bread into level two, and sit and wait. When the toast pops up, I grab a knife, spread my butter rigorously, and throw open the plate cabinet. No plates in sight, but it's too late to go back to the store. A paper napkin will be enough for today. Throwing the slices down, I set up my TV show and devour my warm, crunchy, delicious toast. <laughs>